Hi, I'm Kobe Smulders, and I play Dexadream Perios on Stumptown. My name is Jake Johnson, and I play Gray. Hi, I'm Michael Ely, and I play Detective Hoffman. My name is Cole. I play Ansel. I'm Cameron Mannheim. I play Bobby Cosgrove. I'm Tanto Cardinal. I play Sulin Blackbird. Hi, I'm Adrian Martinez, and I play Tookie. And this is about our firsts. First role you really wanted, but went to someone else. There's been so many. <laughs> I was driving down to do a test for The Aviator. Yeah, starring Leonardo DiCaprio. Ooh. I got rear-ended. The car was totaled. I was in a neck brace. I was stuck in Medford, Oregon, and I could not go to the, um, the test. I got uh, very close to playing the bad guy on The Sitter, which was a Jonah Hill movie, a comedy that uh, David Gordon Green was directing. Mm. They flew me out to New York and I read for it in his apartment on a Saturday. And I thought like, yeah, I'm in his house. Mm -hmm. This is happening. Yeah. We're shooting on Tuesday. Jakey J is here. I'm here. I'm, I'm in the house. I'm right here. And then Monday, Tuesday came and I didn't get it and Sam Rackwell got the job and I mean, they did look pretty where he, good. Look where he ended up. Yeah, look where he ended up. A uh, nobody. Yeah. It was the role in Too Fast, Too Furious. I auditioned for the role of Ted, which Ludacris ended up playing. What's interesting and what hurts about it is that Ted has gone on to be in, <laughs> I don't know, nine right. of the Fast and Furious yeah. movies and yeah. I have not. So, you know, that, that one that one still hurts a little bit. First big audition. This one, Sumptown. This is a great one to be your first. Yes. I know. Mine was obviously the practice, the worst audition I have ever had in my life. And as I was getting up to leave, I noticed he had a cribbage board. I just said, David, do you play cribbage? He kind of scooted up and he went, you know, I do, but I don't think you want to go there with me. So I said, I challenge you to a duel. If I lose, I walk out. I never see you again. But if I win, I walk out with the script. Obviously, I got the role, and um, I have a check with his name signed on it, so I'm just saying. There was a movie I did. I had a horrible experience on it. When it was done, I literally prayed. And I said, dear God, you really have to give me a sign if you want me to stay in this business. The next thing I knew, I was auditioning for this movie, Focus, and I booked it, and I thought, okay, I got the sign. I hitchhiked to go and audition for a movie called Death Hunt. And I go into the audition hall and there's all these girls sitting around in their very brown makeup and they were all white girls with their turquoise jewelry, with all of their Indian stuff. I got the row. First incorrect rumor you read about yourself. It was on the bathroom stall in elementary school and it said Kobe Smulders has a big butt. That's not true. I've always <laughs> Man, been quite why lean, did you write genetically it? blessed. <laughs> I did an interview. It was when New Girl first started. They said, what's one thing you don't like about being recognized? And I said, jokingly, I get hugged by a lot of men and I'm not a touchy guy. And so it's a lot of like male men's ears touching my ears when we do a hug. Oh. It, was, it was in passing, yeah, yeah. it was not something I thought about. And then on Yahoo, I was checking my email and it said, new girl, actor to male fans, don't touch me. And I thought like, ooh, Zoe's screwed. You can't <laughs> say something, they're gonna hate you. Midway through after the comments of how much they hated uh, me, I was like, oh, that's a rumor. Because right. I didn't quite mean that. Yeah. There was a rumor that Sierra and I had hooked up in a New York club one night yeah. And I had never met her before ever in my life. How come you're not being but, honest right now? Yeah. I'm being totally honest. <laughs> sure. The weird thing was, Different guy on camera, the, different the, guy off camera. Yeah, no kidding. Next the, question. The, the weird thing is, is that was me. First time you were starstruck. Huh? <laughs> it's happening! <laughs> Alright, first time you were starstruck. <laughs> Sorry, I keep snorting. <laughs> my first starstruck was I met AC Green. He is so tall. And I'm, I'm, the, I'm the shortest one ever. You're um, gonna have to tell me who AC Green is. He's, he's a um, basketball player. He was doing play for the Lakers. I was doing the practice. I got invited to a very she-she Hollywood party. I had one minute, I was talking to Meryl Streep. I couldn't even believe I was talking to her. And all of a sudden, my eyes started to glaze over and I was like, Meryl, I cannot concentrate on a thing you are saying right now. Mick Jagger is standing right behind you. So I was starstruck once and twice, all in the same moment. And then she was like, really? To my left or to my right? So even Meryl Streep was starstruck. Do any of you guys know who Lee Marvin? <laughs> he was stepping up these stairs and then he stops. And the Rocky Mountains are behind him. And I say, 
You look like the Rocky Mountains. <laughs> you looked at me, didn't say it really, just turned around. Oh. I was at a table read for a movie called Morning Glory, and Harrison Ford was there. I walked up to him, said, excuse me, Mr. Ford, he's like, I just want you to know you were really important to me growing up and seeing your movies, and he just kind of like leaned forward a bit, humbled, and said, he said, thank you so much, that means a lot to me. Any other Saved by the Bell fans? Yes. In the house? Yes. Zach Morris. I saw him at a party, at a Hollywood party, and my husband kind of was like, you gotta go and like say hi. And I'm like, I, and I just totally froze. I think pretty much left out. Like I left five minutes later because I just like, I couldn't, I couldn't get past it because I was very much in love. Yeah. I had a big crush on DJ Tanner from Full House as a kid. Oh yeah. If you could say anything to Zach Paul now. But I'm a big fan and I think you're really talented. And thank you for years of entertainment. And do you think when you had a crush on him? <laughs> there it is! Finally! There we go! There you go! It's, it's just one! Just one! It doesn't yeah. count! It let, doesn't count! Let the girl have a little it doesn't got it out. count! You got it out of your system. I got it out of my system. I'm now. ready to go back to my marriage. <laughs> okay. Go. My first time was Magic Johnson. I remember I was on a red carpet for a movie he had produced called Brown Sugar, and I was at the premiere, and I was answering questions, and the biggest hand in the world came into my view, and I was like, what, what is that? <laughs> like that? And I looked over, and the next thing I looked up, and he was the most massive man I had ever seen. And instead of shaking his hand, I literally hugged him in that moment. <laughs> I got an NBA one that doesn't have a cool ending. I went to a game and Tyson Chandler, yeah. I was a big fan of from Chicago. We drafted him, I followed his career. And my buddy Eric Edelstein, who's an actor, snuck us into the family section after the game. And I had an out of body experience because Tyson Chandler was standing next to me. I swear on my life, I don't remember doing it. I was not conscious of it. But my buddy Eric goes, hey, hey. And my hand was right at like the small of his lower back. And I was going to touch him. <laughs> But it wasn't aggressive. It was just like, really wow, I've watched yeah, you yeah. on playing games for so long. I know your whole story. You're here. So I was just going like this. And he goes, was hey. Was it like you had to see if he was real? Like a I honestly, there was thing? no thought, but it was a gentle touch. 